All right, we're printing with Hatchbox again. No more of that craptastic PLA. I found a feature here in the new basement workshop, Mad Scientist Laboratory, <laughs> that I need to fix. Uh, in trying to display or show or film something small in my new, you know, like something on the bench top or the desktop, uh, I found that there's no really good way to set a camera up. And so if I try to set a camera up here looking down, it's just, it's in my way. And I tried putting a tripod in with a boom over it and it's in the way of um, like the, the light here. Um, and what I, what I thought about doing was actually uh, putting something, attaching something to the ceiling, uh, some unistrut and then uh, building a jig so the camera faces down. But I, I slept on that and what I decided to do instead was um, instead of going old school and building a jig and structure and all that, I'm just going to engineer the solution. I have a 3D printer, I have a set of calipers, I can fix this. Uh, what I noticed actually here, let me, let me zoom in and I'll show you. So my monitor stand here on the desk that holds my dual monitors, um, it had this cap in the top of it that I popped out and the metal cylinder, the tube goes all the way down. And uh, it gave me a bright idea that um, I would pull out my Mitotoyos and do some measurements and then um, open up the computer and do some design work, you see here. And uh, I decided to print something out. So this is what came of that. Um, I went ahead and it's, I, I did, it's not completely round, um, I, I did facet it so that I could, if need be, if there was some sort of issue with that tube, I could pound it into place. Um, I did use PLA, I used black to match, and I went ahead and put four layers on top, all the side layers are four, the bottom layer here is only two, just to conserve a little PLA, and then I did a honeycomb, uh, like 30 or 40 percent infill. Uh, what I then did was I have this um, small mic and camera stand that I picked up for I think I paid like six dollars for it and it's got a thing where you know you can screw it onto the side of a bench and put it in but my bench depth is it's uh, it's solid beach and it's like three and a quarter three and three eighths inch so it just it didn't work out but this it's nice and snug and it fits right in there and then let me show you how it fits in and kind of what my thought is so again we take the cap off and I have already pre a couple of times put this in so it I, I assured the fit um, it actually fit first time this was supposed to be my prototype and I was going to design from there but it actually fit perfect uh, just a little bit of persuasion with a, a mallet and that's all it took now as you see, I can move it this way. I've got a, a GoPro installed on it now. I was, I was doing, doing some filming earlier. But this way you can move it. It goes up. Um, it goes down. And it is nice and still. And then you can, what you can do is you can work under it and show the bits and pieces. I, I think it's a nice, elegant solution. And then when you don't want it, when you want it out of the way, of course, it goes right there. Um, or I can put it all the way up here and it's completely out of the way and leave the camera on it so uh, really simple simple solution for uh, a filming issue and uh, all made possible by uh, a little bit of measurement and an awesome 3d printer all right so i did something sort of similar for my microphone because what i was finding is um, as i was doing things if i wanted to be able to to bring my mic in I was having to, to set it up on the side and bring it over and uh, that was kind of a pain in the butt so what I did and I'll show you the, the steps um, on how I did it um, and what the print looks like what the design looks like but what I ended up doing was taking and printing out uh, this and then uh, drilling with a faucener bit an inch and a quarter hole down about an eighth of an inch and then finishing it out with a three quarter inch Faustner bit. And then um, it's uh, two inches deep and it goes, you know, all the way, 
all the way through the the top um, and then the same thing the mic stand sits in there and it's raised just a little bit above the surface so that any rubbing that happens happens on on this uh, piece of plastic as like a bearing surface instead of the wood but that way I can push the microphone off to the side or um, I can bring it over just like that and then use it to to dub um, into voiceover videos and that sort of thing just in case somebody wants to do the same thing if they have the same setup um, and want to be able to to print one out for themselves I will go ahead down below and put the link to uh, put to the build files on Thingiverse so you can you can print your own alright thanks <laughs>